Hi friends, Saurabhir, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, in our last tut tutorials, we have learned, we have seen the examples of uh, ref cursor actually. Okay, so here I am going to, you know, uh, going to explain about the ref cursor using procedure, how we can use the uh, ref cursor in our procedure. And as I told you earlier that, how we will open a ref cursor in one procedure and fetch the value and data, you know, fetch the data in another uh, procedure and close in that procedure actually. So today we are, we are going to learn about these things. Before that, I'll recommend, I'll strongly recommend you that you, if you have not watched my last two tutorials where I have explained about ref cursor, please go and watch that tutorial first. You will get the link in description below. Then come to this place and, uh, you know, see this exam, these examples. All right. So let's start the tutorial. Okay. So here, uh, what I have done, I, I have, uh, you know, created, I have written uh, code for two procedure actually. So this is our first procedure and this is our second procedure. Okay. So let's see what, what is happening in first procedure first. Okay. So here I have written create or replace procedure P underscore EMP underscore details. This is our procedure name. You can write anything as I'm taking data from EMP table. So I have written P underscore EMP underscore details. Okay, and here I have, uh, you know, I'm passing two two variables here, two parameters, you can say, p underscore dpt id, which is of number type, this is in parameter, so no need to write in, by default, this is in parameter, okay, and uh, other variable is p underscore cur, which is out parameter, and this is a, of sys ref cursor, a weak type ref cursor, actually, you know, what Oracle provides us a database object, sys ref cursor, to give, you know, to provide, uh, uh, to you know to make it as a weak type ref cursor actually okay so here we have uh, declared two variable v underscore dpt id which is of number type and other variable is p underscore uh, cur out parameter which is of sys underscore ref cursor type okay weak type ref cursor okay now let's uh, then the keyword is this is the you know normal uh, way to write procedure actually I'll, I'll explain you how to create procedure in my next video so don't worry about that this is how we you know we used to write procedure actually first of all we will have to write these things then begin then your our execution section then end the block and this is that's it our process pro procedure got will get created actually okay so after begin what i'm doing here i i just have written this open cursor thing so if you are knowing about cursor you know we have to open the cursor and then we have to fetch the data then we have to you know close the cursor so this is how you know we are going to open the cursor we have declared the cursor here Okay, now we are going to open the cursor. So open cursor p underscore cur for select employee ID first name from EMP where department is equal to p underscore dpt ID. This is the same uh, dpt ID what's gonna we, we are going to take the input from user actually. That's why we have written this p underscore dpt ID here as number type so that we could take the data you know from user itself. So this is how we have opened the cursor and we are going to end the procedure we are not going to go ahead actually we just end it we we are not going to fetch the data we are not going to close the cursor we just end it and this is how this is how our our procedure will get created where we have declared the cursor and we have opened the cursor we are we are not fetching the data and we are not closing the uh, cursor actually so here uh, and this the, the this thing can only be done in using ref cursor we cannot do the same thing in uh, normal cursor actually okay so this is how i have created a procedure i have written a procedure where i have opened a cursor that's it i'm not i'm, I'm not doing anything apart from that okay now in, um, in my second procedure here as you can see here i have written another procedure as create or replace procedure p underscore get underscore data actually this is this is again your name you can write anything here i have written p get data because i'm going to get the data using this procedure so here i have written p underscore get underscore data and uh, a variable uh, a parameter i'm passing here the in in type parameter which will take input from user so p underscore dpt underscore number okay now the keyword is and here i have declared four uh, three variables first variable is again of you know uh, ref cursor type a weak type ref cursor you can say this sys ref cursor okay and then i'm doing here to another variable one variable is to get the employee id and another variable is get the to get the employee name from emp table okay so this is how we can we, we use our anchor data type if i'm not knowing about this 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 kind of data type you'll get the link in description below go and watch that tutorial all right 
uh, then come to begin section so here after begin what i'm doing i'm just i just have written the first uh, you know cursor, uh, first procedure name here so p underscore emp underscore details if you remember let's go up p underscore emp underscore details here i have passed two variables p underscore dptid and cur out this you know uh, this uh, the same value we are catching in our next uh, procedure here we are taking out output from this cursor this cursor p underscore cur and this output this out parameter will work for this parameter as you know will will be catching here actually okay so that's why i have written p underscore dpt detail p underscore emp details and these two very uh, these two parameters i'm passing here so p underscore emp underscore details and uh, here department id which will be you know which will take input from user and this is a the cursor the cursor so we have you know passed it here and we are using the same cursor to get assigned the variable into our these two variables p underscore emp id and emp name so the same uh, you know cursor we have you know uh, we fetched data into these two variables using this cursor what we have opened in our last uh, in our you know previous uh, procedure so from that procedure we have opened our cursor and here we are fetching data and we are doing we are saying exit when uh, this cursor not found person not found so when it will get exited if, if, if it will not get any data and then we are you know printing the value then end the loop and end it so this is how we are fetching the data and uh, we have to write close also end loop then close our cursor name close what is the name of the cursor this thing control c and to control v and then end it okay so hope you got this thing now let's run both the procedures one by one and get the results okay so let me copy it control c and paste in a sql workshop paste it here i pasted it now run this so as you can see we got the output as a procedure created now let's do the same for uh, you know second procedure so let's copy the second procedure code and uh, control c and paste in our sql workshop before that delete this and paste it and run this so as you can see our procedure got created both the procedure got created so what we are going to do now we are going to call this procedure okay where we will we will be passing a, a department id so we will be passing department id and we will be calling this procedure so we will, when we will call this procedure uh, this procedure code will run in our uh, oracle engine and when it will find for it will you know it will get this this value so then when it will get first procedure name it will run the first procedure it will run first procedure it will get the data and details from there and according to that it will you know uh, we will get uh, these two details from first procedure and we will uh, it will run the data uh, you know these codes and we will get the output okay so i'll show you let's come here delete it let me copy uh, you know let me copy it this uh, procedure name and let's let's run it here so to run it i have to write begin then procedure name then let's you know pass any value i'm passing department id is 100 department id as 100 then end it and run this okay so as you can see as i have run and i got got the data properly uh, these uh, detail of these employees who belong to a department ID 100. Now let's enter department ID 30 and run this query. Now, as you can see, we got the data uh, de uh, employee detail, employee data who belongs to department ID 30. So this is how we can use the you know ref cursor to get you know uh, we, we are opening the ref cursor in first procedure and we are closing it in another procedure we are fetching value into you know fetching data into another procedure so this is how you know uh, the flexibility with ref cursor is hope this example and you know concept is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel please like and share the video all right so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much